Apple Van Steps, Apple Van Steps, it's time for one of Apple Van Steps for Final Fantasy XIV. Retainer Basics. Retainers are NPCs that can indirectly help you with your adventures in Eorzea. These NPCs, under your employment, will provide you a few valuable services to you. They can act as banks, merchants, and can run some go fetch missions for you. To get a retainer, you need permission and a paid subscription. Sorry, but the free trial players cannot use this game feature. No spoilers, but early on in the MSQ, you will gain access to retainers. This is unlocked slightly after you run your first three dungeons. Once you're given permission, you need to visit a retainer vocate NPC to create your retainer. Each major city has one in their market district. You can create one in any city, so you don't have to pick your starter city if you don't want to. There is a possibility of a city tax on the city's market board prices, but it changes from time to time, so you can pick whatever you like. You can create up to two retainers as part of your subscription. You can get additional retainers for an additional real world fee tacked on your subscription at two US dollars per month. When you speak to the vocate, you can create your retainer. Select hire a retainer from the menu to begin. Once you agree to creating a retainer, you will be presented with a character design similar to when you created your character. This retainer will only be seen by you, so create a character to whatever suits you. Then, just for fun, you can pick your retainer's personality. This is purely cosmetic and does not affect the performance or features of the retainer. The next step is the name of your retainer. This name will be visible to other players on the market boards and the name has to be server unique. It may take a few attempts to create a name that has not been taken. Once you pick an acceptable name, the retainer will be created. Now, you need to summon your retainer. To do so, you need to find a summoning bell. Use the bell, select your retainer, and then you could use their services. On the retainer menu, you have a few options. You can have the retainer hold items, hold some gill, and place some items on the market board to be purchased by other players. Each retainer has 175 slots for your gear and items. You are able to give retainers untradeable items so it can act like an extension of your inventory. Guild can be stored, but it is just to keep it separate from your character's guild. This is a good way to save guild if you have an impulsive personality and buy everything you see. You can also sell items on the markets using your retainers. They can sell individual items or stacks of certain items such as crafting materials or consumables. To begin, select an item from your inventory and then drop it on the markets window. The adjust price window will appear asking you how much you want to sell the item for. If you dropped a stack of items, the asking price will be the price per item. The buyer will not be able to split your stack, so keep that in mind when selecting what quantity of items to sell. If you wish to get an idea of what other players are selling an item for, you can click on the Compare Prices button in the upper right corner. You will see what other players are selling the item for and in what quantities. If you wish to get an idea of what other players are selling an item for, you can click on the... You can also check the sale history from this window to see when and how much players are actually buying the items for. This is good information to see if an item is actually selling at the prices the players are setting their items for. Once you are happy with the price and quantity of the item you wish to put on the markets, go ahead and hit the confirm button. You can have up to 20 listings per retainer on the market at any given time. If you change your mind, you can adjust the price of the item or cancel the sale altogether. Right click or press the square button on your controller and select adjust price. You will be shown the same window as before. Go ahead and make your changes, select confirm to select a new price.
If you just want to cancel the listing altogether, you would select return to retainer or return items to inventory. Return to retainer will place the item in the retainer's inventory. Return items to inventory will return the items into your own character's inventory. The items are not quite on the market yet. While you have the retainer window open, the listings will not be available to purchase. Once you select quit and the retainer menu disappears, the items will be listed and will be available to purchase. Any gill that is earned from the sales will be stored by the retainer. To collect your gill, simply go back into the retainer's menu and select entrust or withdraw gill. Thanks for watching today's tip. Once again, if you would leave a like, that would be highly appreciated. Clicking that subscription button will also help as it will add the video to your feed and also to motivate myself to get more Final Fantasy XIV tips created. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again for my next Final Fantasy XIV tip.